It's the number one cause of blindness in adults. It doubles the risk of heart attack and stroke. If trends continue, one in three children born today will face it in their lifetime. One in four people who have it don't know it yet. And one in five Americans are at high risk of developing it. Together, we can stop a disease that burdens and shortens life. Help us raise awareness, raise research funds, and raise hope at StopDiabetes.com. Well, I am a part of the American Diabetes Association. I'm uh, now a spokesperson for the North Texas chapter and excited to be. I'm here today um, as, as the, the ADA is one of the sponsors for the Jazz Festival and we're basically here supporting the walk uh, prevention walk. and these walkers, they registered and some of the proceeds are going to benefit the ADA which has been helping to bring information, very resourceful information um, to help bring the numbers down. And the, the numbers are staggering, it's an epidemic. Everyone knows someone who's either diabetic or either they're diabetic themselves. And I recently, personally, um, how it affected me, I lost my mom who was diabetic and we I felt very helpless and I, I felt like I should have um, been able to help her, but I, I lacked the information. So I met up with the ADA and decided to commit myself uh, to the organization because there's a lot of people that can, whose lives can be saved by the information that they find out at the website. The, the website for ADA is diabetes.org and once I found out about diabetes.org, I started to learn a lot more and I wish I could have helped my mom, but that's why I'm committing myself to the, the cause itself, to help bring the numbers down. If you see the statistics, it is amazing um, what it's growing to, and they're saying by 2030, one in four people um, will be diabetic. And, I, and don't quote me on it, but go to diabetes.org to get the exact amount. And um, we're just doing our part. I have a, a, a walk coming up with the ADA team spin. It's going to be walking November 10th, and we're going to raise money to help stop diabetes. And where's that walk going to be? That walk is in Rangers Park, November 10th. Team spin. And we're signing people up here. Um, so that they can be a part of Team Spin. But either way, just support, support the cause so we can help stop diabetes. I'm Sandra Brink, one of the partners and sponsors for this event. This is Miss Keisha. She is one of the senior associates for Chili's. Everybody knows Chili's. Chili's, baby back ribs. Everybody can have some. But we're not here for no baby back ribs today. We are here walking for diabetes. Keisha, tell us about how you guys came to part of this event and what you're contributing. take care of the uh, chips and salsa and, you know, free water and stuff like that. And I was a part of it because I have a family member with diabetes. And it was like something close to my heart to do something like this and volunteer. And it's still more worth the cause and it was more fun in here. And I'm sorry, well, I So, I just, I got something that I did not even know. Whenever she cooked the things that she really enjoyed, she wasn't well. So it had a, she went into depression. A lot of people don't understand the side effects of a lot of uh, prescription drugs. Uh, she lost her hair, she grew a beard. The last time I seen her in the hospital, she totally looked like another creature. Like, not even my aunt. She had a beard, she was darker. Everything about her, her organs and her body began to shut down and that alone is, is a very emotional something to have to, you know, to deal with. And how old were you when that, when that happened? I was 33. 33 years old? And how old are you now? If, if that's not, I know they say you never ask a lady her age, so. Uh, I'm 35. 35, that's so two years ago. So that means it's still affecting you today? I have no idea. I have no idea. And I can tell by looking at you, looking at you that she meant a lot to you. Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to try to drown any tears. I know, because I'm about to walk away. <laughs> and this team that you have is still with you. Um, some of my team members are with me. Yes, yes. <laughs> we roll with her 24-7. They wear the t-shirts every day. Like, <laughs> we walk around the city, the Soto, and <laughs> the city of Dallas, and just, you know, represent. But no, for real, we're all, like, committed to this. And, um, we're all affected by it in some way. So. And let me ask you a question. What, what, what has 
drawn you uh, to also assist her in this effort? Well, one, I know how it re how it touches her heart. Um, it has a family impact on everyone. Um, but the reason why Spin was so dedicated, of course, to her mom, um, and then her her spirit of giving back and, and having prevention for people who are either going to be a part of the process, meaning they have someone, a family member that's affected by it, or they've had gestational diabetes, type 1 or type 2. And there's so many different programs that the ADA offers. Her ability to be a part of it and shine her light and use her celebrity to increase that knowledge has been very positive. Last year we were able to raise over $7,000 collectively um, for the walk in November. We had a uh, team spin with the shirts and everyone wanted to be a part of it. So this year is more of a movement as well as prevention and just tied to her, uh, to her ex excellence in this possibility. And what, do, what are some of the things that, say for someone else is interested in becoming part of the movement, what, what can they do to be a part of this movement? We have um, DJ Spinderella on Facebook. A lot of people are connecting with her that way. She's on Twitter uh, at SpinDeasy. Um, a lot of people connect her directly and tell them their diabetes. People are finding out that they are diabetic and contact her. And the, the blessing with that is she's able to reach out to them directly and give them that positive uh, feeling and connect them directly to the ADA with Nikki. And, and Nikki is able to give them more information on when to get checked out, where to get checked out. And then they also have an alliance with Walgreens where they can check their glucose levels and, and, um, and learn more about diabetes prevention. So it's been a real big thing. We had a big group of people last year. It was like a big party. Everybody was doing the wobble. You know, uh, we had the wobble. We had the pastor doing the cupid shuffle. Um, so it was really, it was really big and it was real positive. And she walked with everybody. She walked the whole 5K. So I mean, people were kind of shocked that she she did the whole. They did kind of. She kind of did it. I've seen some diabetics that are healthier than people that are not diabetic. Yeah. Because they've dedicated themselves to changing and making sure that they live a healthier lifestyle. So it's not a death sentence, it's a life sentence. Yeah. If you want it to be. Yeah. And thanks to the ADA for putting that information out there. Diabetes affects more minorities than anything. I mean, African Americans is one of the leading um, minority groups that have diabetes. And you have the um, Hispanics. Um, population is growing. I mean, every 17 seconds, somebody you know is learning they're diabetic. So we have to kind of stop that. We have to get the prevention message out there, and people just going to the doctor and finding that they have it. It's too late at that point. But you can live with diabetes. You can live to prevent it. It's not a, a, a death. You know, it's not a death sentence when you learn that you have diabetes. And people have to stop calling it sugar. You know, um, it, it, it gets that wrong notion and stop hiding the fact that you have diabetes. Can help somebody else. Yeah. I mean, you seem very educated on this. I, mean, <laughs> I had gestational diabetes when I would have my son. Okay. So um, I was 258 pounds then. So um, it, it means a lot to, for the prevention measure of it because my mother was a diabetic and finding out she, you know, I was on her constantly about her being a diabetic, telling her what she couldn't eat, what she couldn't go. Um, you know, just being so hard on her when she went grocery shopping, and then it was like a smack in the face when I found that I was gestational, had gestational diabetes, and I was kind of like, what? Not me, you know, I eat fish all the time, and I don't eat bad, and it had nothing to do with that, so it's all about being educated, so that's why the ADA is so prevalent, because they can educate you and have that positive influence. Well, the American Diabetes Association has several free programs for the African American community. We have Project Power, which is our faith-based program in which we go into the church. Because a lot of us want to put everything on Jesus and we don't want to take any responsibility for ourselves. 
But you know, so we go in there and we let them know how if God let them do everything, you wouldn't even have to you, you wouldn't have to get out of bed in the morning. But you have to have some responsibility because faith without work is dead. So you gotta put in some work. Okay? And then we have Choose to Live, which is our women's program that leads diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Because we honestly believe if you get the woman in the house family, the whole healthy, the whole family will be here. We have uh, programs for children like Train Up a Child, because right now we gotta stop the obesity rate in children to stop type 2 diabetes. So we offer these programs in any community for free. So if they wanna get involved, just go to diabetes.org, come to the North Texas office, and we'll be happy to help. And where's the North Texas office? The North Texas office is located at 4100 Alpha Road, Suite 100, Dallas 75244. Is there like an email address or also? Yes, they can reach me at shrockerson at diabetes.org. Anything else you would like to say? No, I appreciate y'all being out here today to help spread the word. It's a diabetes prevention. And where are all you from? I'm sorry? Where are you from? I am from, I'm born and raised in Dallas. Dixon okay. Circle. Okay. You look familiar. Do I? Yeah, you know any cherry? Grand cherry. That's me, baby. You grand cherry? Yes, ma'am. And we're cool together. I know. <laughs> Together we can make a difference. Together we can make a difference. Be well.